You think you've heard all Metallica? Hi, I'm Dio Selenko. Metallica has released 10 studio albums and more than 100 original songs, plus a bunch of covers which we love too. But even if you have listened to all this stuff, you probably dropped something, especially if you are a new Metallica fan. So here's my 5 things that you might not notice in Metallica songs. And I'm not going to mention things like this and this are actually bass. You must know it. As well as what you can't notice, it's bass on Justice album. Actually, there is one piece when you can hear bass pretty good there. It's coming up. Note, if you are a hardened Metallica fan, and you do notice all of that. Just take it easy and be proud of that. Clean guitar in Orion interlude is doubling bass in an octave higher, filling up the empty space between bass and solo guitar. Probably it was recorded by James. Metallica doesn't play the part live, you know, third guitar needed. Load and reload are full of experimental stuff. Fretless bass on Until It Sleeps, keyboards on Bleeding Me, weird rolling thing on Low Man's lyrics. But have you ever noticed a specific sounding bass in the middle of Cure? It's not that popular song and Metallica never played it live. So probably not. It sounds like slap. We saw Jason play it slap live, so he could do that. And here's the pretty audible bass theme from Justice album. It appears at the beginning of interlude Somebody might think that's cello, but actually there's bass with a swelling effect We can see Rob doing it by rolling a volume knob on the only live performance of To Live Is To Die. James Hetfield told in a rare interview that the low E in Sanitarium intro was accented by piano. That's almost impossible to identify in the original recording. Nevertheless, we can catch the difference comparing with the isolated guitar track. Check it out. And I'm not talking about intro. If you are my subscriber, you you know that's recorded by Cliff Burton. But listen carefully to the middle section. Do you perceive something lower than just guitar playing power chords? To me that sounds similar to what we hear in the Orion intro and Damage Inc. intro too. It's heavy, distorted bass. Probably there are two tracks there. A regular line which Cliff played live and distorted one which was making the guitar sounding more meaty. Did you hear all the things before? Do you have something to add? Write them in the comment section. Next time we will discuss 4 most overdone Metallica songs. Subscribe to my channels if you share the love to metal, bass, Metallica or if you just like what I do. And if you want to support me, become my Patreon. All links in description. Thanks for watching guys. Andrei Selenko. Be in metal.